Let's continue our Creative Tarot 101 conversation and talk about court cards. Now, like I said before, I think an author can pick up tarot without knowing anything and be able to use it for all kinds of things. But if you have a little bit of knowledge, it can unlock so much more to help with characters, plot, conflict, basically anything you want. Hi, my name is Jennifer Gregson, and I'm a tarot book coach who helps writers get through that murky, muddy middle, get over imposter syndrome, and finish their novels all with a smile on their face. Let's do a tiny bit of a refresher from the last video where we talked about the suits of the minor arcana. We had cups, which is uh, the element of water dealing with emotions. We had swords, which is the element of air, deals with intellect. We have wands, which is the element of fire, deals with creativity and passion. And we have pentacles, which is the element of earth and deals with things you can touch, your home, your career, things of that nature. Now today I wanna to talk about the court cards, which are a part of the minor arcana, but like I said in the last video, they need a little bit of extra information to make them work. So let's talk about the four. There are pages, knights, queens, and kings. In most tarot decks, that's what you'll find. But if you have a deck that lists them as something different, sometimes you'll get um, daughters, sons, mothers, and fathers. It's kind of the same thing. Just look up what your deck sort of means for each one. It's the same concept, okay? So let's talk about pages. Pages are young and naive. They're usually like the student, the learner, they don't know what they don't know. The knights are slightly more mature. They're action takers, but they don't always think before they take that action, and sometimes that can lead them into trouble. The queens are even more mature. They're the feminine energy. They're motherly, nurturing. They have a lot of compassion. And the kings are their counterpart. They are the most mature of the four cards. They are a masculine energy, and they have mastered the element of their suit. And I'm going to explain how that works in a minute. Now, the beauty comes in combining what we know from the first video, the refresher I just did about the suits, and what I just went over about the four court cards. This is the beauty, is combining just that little bit of basic knowledge to come up with characters and plot ideas. And I'm gonna give you some examples. So let's create a character with the Page of Swords. The Page of Swords, right? So we know the page is the student or the learner, and we know the swords is all about air and intellect. So I see this character as being someone who's very in their head, I kind of see them as a professional student, someone who's going for their second PhD or their third master's, and they love school, right? They're very much in their head, though, and not connected to their heart or their emotions. They might be super awkward around people or social interactions, but like give them a spreadsheet of data and they are happy. Now let's create a character from the Knight of Pentacles. So the knights we know are action takers, slightly more mature, and we know the pentacles is all about that earth element, work, and life. So I see this character as being a very go-getter at work. They're young, they want to prove themselves, and they rush into decisions without thinking of things. And I kind of see them having a huge crash at some point where a decision they make goes completely wrong and they have to own up to that and really mature and come into themselves. Now let's create a character for the Queen of Wands. So queens are motherly, nurturing, more mature, and the wands are all about that creativity and that fire and that passion. I see the Queen of Wands as the quintessential working mother who will not take no for any area of her life. She is going to succeed and she's going to do it her way. I see her as being the person that you go to for advice, both in career and life. Like She gives advice to all of her kids' friends. Like they're, She's the mom that they come to when they can't talk to their own mom. And I see her as being able to give advice, even like bad situations, she can handle the advice with, you know, nuance and nurturing. She can give the medicine with a dose of sugar. 
Okay, so I've been giving you characters, which is so easy to do with the court, the court cards. But you might be sitting there thinking, okay, how can I use these court cards for other things? This is the one I'm going to show you how to do that on. So the king, the masculine energy, most mature, totally masters their element, and the cups, which is all about water and emotions. So I would take those elements and turn it into a plot. And the plot I thought of is quiet coastal town, fish, fishery, fisherman type town, um, maybe somewhere in Maine where they do like the lobsters, right? And it's quiet, quiet, quiet town, tiny. There is a murder and someone from the outside comes in to investigate. They are the sort of masculine energy that comes in. And it doesn't have to be a man or a woman. It just has to be a masculine energy that comes in. And he, they have to investigate this quiet town and they have to investigate pretty much everybody and get into everybody's business. And how would that rock the emotional balance of this tiny town? So let me ask you, what do you guys see in these cards? If you take the little bits of elements, what I would love if you would pick one card and let me know in the comments below how you see them. Either a character I created, maybe you take the card and turn it into a plot point or a setting, or give me a character for this card. I would love it if you would do that in the comments below. Also, let me know if you like this series. I do still need to do one about the major arcana, but I'm not entirely sure how to do that since it's 22 cards. So I'm going to take some time and figure that out. If you have advice, let me know below. I'm going to be doing weekly videos throughout the summer. So hit that notification bell, subscribe if you haven't already, and I will see you next week. Have a great day.